I think I got them about two months ago and I completely forgot that I got them until I just filmed this video. So, um, yeah, I, I have no self-control. Someone just needs to take my card away from me. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the biggest Primark haul that I've ever done on my channel before and I have so many bags of different things in this video that I'm going to show you. So I'm one of those people where I will go to Primark and I will save everything up to do a haul video and I think I probably went about four or five times so this is literally all those times in one. So I don't just have one bag. I will show you how many bags I have. I have a big one, I have a medium sized one, and then I have two small ones. So that is a lot of stuff and they are pretty much filled all the way up to the top. And I actually put all these in categories because that's how I film these videos. And I completely forgot that I bought several things and I actually bought duplicates of them because I forgot that I already bought them. So um, yeah, I, I have no self-control. I have loads of makeup. I have lots of clothes as well and hopefully it's not going to take too long to go through. I also have some homewares as well that I'm so excited about that I'm going to show you in this video as well. So anyway if you want to see everything I picked up in my big Primark haul then just keep watching. So the first things that I'm going to go through are my homewares items and I didn't actually get that many. So the first thing I have technically it's not a homewares item but I don't really know what other category to put it in because it's the only one of its kind. So I picked up this airpod case and this was only three pounds and i don't have airpods i have the cheap versions of them because they are so expensive and i don't see the point in spending loads and loads of money personally on items that can go missing because i tend to lose all my earphones all the time so i have this and i can put them in it has a little keychain on there as well it's mermaid inspired it's iridescent the next items that i picked up are actually homewares this time so the first things that i got are these donut trays so i absolutely love baking i love donuts as well and you have these donut trays where you get six donuts and then they're only one pound fifty which is super affordable i absolutely love doing cakes and things like that so i can make donuts or I can make cakes and these and like I said I picked up two of them as well I think these were the last two in the store and to be honest I think I got them about two months ago and I completely forgot that I got them until I just filmed this video and it's a Disney waffle maker a Disney waffle maker I had no idea that they had these in store now this was £30 so it is pretty expensive but I don't have it in this box because it's actually downstairs in my kitchen because I've used it several times and at first Neil was like why do you have that and then I made waffles and then he realized why they make massive waffles the waffles are so nice and it heats up very quickly and everything tastes amazing and I'm really happy that I got this now 30 pounds it was a lot for me I looked at it and I was like is it worth that then to be honest I looked online and they were selling these for so much money on like eBay and Amazon and I was like let's try it I absolutely love it the waffles are amazing and I can create Mickey waffles whenever I want to and I don't have to go to the Mickey cafe. The next things that I purchased are hair and skincare and I have everything in this one bag right here and then have an extra thing as well. So I'm probably not going to go to any specific categories in this because it's all skincare and also hair. So the first things that I got are these containers. I absolutely love getting containers from Primark because they are so good. You can use them for travel as well and you can use them for so many different things. So I picked up these five cosmetics jars which are ATP. I feel like these are so good if you're traveling. I actually used a small one of these when I went to London. I needed to take my powder but I didn't want to take my entire jar of powder so just put it in one of these and it saved so much room and to be honest for just going overnight I didn't need to use that much powder anyway. If you want to take any skincare with you, any moisturiser, lotions, anything like that just pop it in here and it saves so much room. Then I picked up some hair scrunchies as well and these ones are super super bright. They remind me of Saved by the Bell if you guys ever watch that so reminds me of that but I love these two colours. I don't really know what possessed me to purchase these ones because usually I go for like neutral colours but I thought these were fun and these were £2 and you get two. I also picked up two packs of hair grips because I completely forgot that I'd already purchased a pack of them so I have two. And you guys know in every single Primark video that I do, pretty much every single one, I have to get some hair grips. And this time I got two packs and they're only a pound. You get them in these tins as well which is so easy for travel and so you don't lose them. But I still lose them. I lose like the whole containers. Then I picked up some makeup pads as well. And you guys will know that I'm obsessed with makeup pads. So I haven't been using any cotton pads recently. Probably for the last few months I haven't been using any cotton wool. I've literally just been using washable cotton pads. Because they are so 
amazing to use and these ones I got are some Barbie ones and I saw these and I was like I really need to get them and they're in this very very big pouch so it's easy to wash and then these ones are massive compared to the ones that I usually get and they feel so nice and soft they are three pounds so they're more expensive than the usual ones you do get five in here as well it's Barbie and they're massive and I felt like I needed them I also picked up another travel set because you can never have too many travel sets and even though I don't travel that much I like to have these on hand anyway just in case I do and these ones are much bigger than the other ones that I have these ones are a pound and you get six different things in here so you get three bottles and then you get a smaller bottle and then you get a small little container just like the five containers that I showed you and then you also get a little funnel as well so it's easier to put all the liquids in there I also like the fact that they have all of the labels on there as well I actually use these labels because on my bedside table I have this one and then I have this one and this one's filled up with my micellar water this one's filled up with my toner but I don't like to have the big bottles on my side of my table because it just takes up too much room and then I use the labels on there so it's really good and then I can just easily take them for travel as well and the last skincare items that I got I actually picked up two of these and it's the refillable pump dispensers and I actually saw these in my local store and I thought these were absolutely amazing so I have seen these about but I haven't actually seen them in Primark so these were 80p each and I think yeah it's 180 millilitres and all you do is you have your little lid on there you fill it up with whatever you want so you micellar water and then just pump like that and then I'll put the micellar water on there it's just so much easier than what I have at the moment because you can easily spill it and because I can't put much in there I have to keep refilling it so it's just a little bit annoying but this it looks like it's going to be so good and so easy to use and the last hair item that I purchased I actually saw on TikTok recently and I saw this in my local Primark and I decided to go ahead and get it and this is the heatless curl set and this I thought was so weird so everyone has been doing where you have your dressing gown and you use a tie from that and then put it all over your hair I have not done that so I don't know how that works but this I thought was very interesting because it looks like it's sort of like silky material and it is quite long and then you get a clip in it as well and you get some hair ties and I thought it was pretty good for £2.50 and I thought we could try it out and see if it actually works and does what it says but everyone is going crazy about these and I thought I'd pick it up before it goes all over TikTok and then everyone is going to be obsessed and buying them all. Next I have makeup and beauty and I have so much stuff in here because I am actually going to be filming a full face first impression of Primark makeup. I haven't done it yet on my channel but I bought some more things so I could do an actual video. I know I did this like last year and I forgot to do it but I bought some new makeup so we can test it out and see how it goes. So this bag is full to the top with all of the products. It's so heavy you can literally see it's full up to the top so the first things I actually got three of and these actually some of them are for presents so these are some lip kits from Primark so you get the nourishing lip gloss balm and the lip gloss with hyaluronic acid spheres so I have two in the shade biscuit and then I have one in the shade blossom and they're very very similar so one of them is like a pinky nude and one of them is more of a beige nude and I thought these would be really good for presents so they're only three pounds as well and I saw quite a few of them in store I've never tried these out before so I don't really know how they're gonna go it does say that it contains mineral oil raspberry seed oil shea butter jojoba sweet almond oil so there is a lot of ingredients in here that are really really good for your lips so yeah i thought these were pretty good and i'd never seen them before and three pounds you can't really go wrong i also picked up loads of packs of nails now i do not need nails because i have so many from primark that i haven't used yet and i feel like i really need to do my nails because they're chipping it looks absolutely horrible so when I tell you that I picked up loads of packs of nails I picked up six I didn't need them but every single time I go in Primark I see new nails and then I need to get them and I forget that I already have loads of them and I really need to stop it because it is just going absolutely crazy so I did pick up four I picked up four of the almond matte ones see this is this is why I know that I have a problem every single one of these the four packs are in exactly the same shade. I don't need four packs of mushroom coloured almond matte nails. But apparently someone in me said that I did. I, oh, 
someone just needs to take my card away from me but anyway they are very very pretty and I really like the matte ones as well because they last a very long time and every single pack of nails that I have from Primark lasts a very long time about two weeks to be honest and these are only one pounds each then I also have two other packs of nails and these ones are completely different from each other and I actually wish I got more packs of these nails because these ones are actually really pretty so the first ones are these square ones and they're French glossy in ombre and they're like a really beautiful pale pink shade these ones were £1.50 and then I got these ones which are line detailing in chic and these ones were £1.50 as well these ones are actually my favourite out of all the ones that I purchased I've actually worn one of these packs as well on my nails and I got so many compliments people were saying how good they look and they last me two weeks as well so I think the rest of the items are pretty much makeup based now so I do have a fragrance and this one was was two pounds and it's in the fragrance tropical haze is 20 milliliters i did not need any fragrance but i smelt this and i thought it was absolutely beautiful because it smells exactly the same as the lip mask that i have and this one is paradiso lip balm and mask trio set so this one was only £2.50, but I think they smell pretty much exactly the same. They did have another one of these fragrances, but it did not smell very nice at all. But this one, I smell a sample that they had, and it was so beautiful. And I picked up an eyeshadow palette, and I thought this was really, really nice. This is in the shade Fiery, and it's £5, and it's an eyeshadow palette where you get... 12 different shades in there and these are so stunning absolutely beautiful i have never i don't think tried eyeshadows from primark before i picked up some makeup brushes as well and i've never ever tried primark makeup brushes before so this one is the ps pro tapered blush brush and it was only three pounds as well and i actually felt one that was open in store which i probably shouldn't have but it felt so nice and soft and it's for powder blush and highlighter as well and i did sort of need some new brushes because some of them are really really old and they're getting to the point where they're just not working very well anymore and the other brush that i got is the flathead contour brush for contouring highlighting and adding definition to create a sculpted look now this again was three pounds and if you guys have been watching youtube for probably the last six or seven years you will know that this looks very very similar to a brush from NARS that everyone was obsessed with and that brush was £50 back in the day and I don't know if they've discontinued it but it was like the go-to thing and I saw this and I was like you know what let's try it out see how it goes because I did have a dupe of it and it was so horrible I think I got it from eBay for like £2 years ago and it was so hard and oh it was so scratchy as well but this one felt so nice and soft just like the other one as well so for three pound you can't really complain i'll let you know how these brushes go then i also picked up some eye products as well so i have a double take liner duo this one's a felt and liner duo and it's black so you have two different sides to it so one of them is like a really thin felt tip and the other one is like a blocky one so you can create some flicks i've never tried any liquid liners from primark before but all the makeup is cruelty free which i think is amazing and this one was only £2.50 so I picked up a brow liner as well this one's the brow sketch and I got it in shade brown then he had I think three shades they had black brown and blonde this one was £2 and it's dual sided I don't really know anything else about it because it didn't really say then I also picked up an eye pencil this one's a coal eye pencil and it's a metallic one and it's in the shade bronze and it was only a pound as well so i thought this one would be pretty good to try because i love having bronzy eyes and then i picked up three face products as well so the first one that i got is the paradiso bronzing drops with hyaluronic acid and marula oil so this one is i think it's a dupe of this one that's on tiktok i think it's from ciate and everyone loves it and this one three pounds so super affordable i think they only had one shade which is golden hour so i don't know if it's going to be too dark or too light all the right shades and then i also picked up two technically the both foundations so the first one is the ps flawless glow radiant glow primer foundation hybrid this has vitamin e and squalene as well and it's five pounds and i got it in the shade caramel now this is supposed to be a dupe of the flawless filter from charlotte tilbury they didn't really have many shades they had a very very pale one a very very deep one and this one and this one looks deep but i'm not self tanned properly at the moment so maybe it'll match me when i have a self tan but i don't know looks very bronzer i could use it to contour if it if it's too dark but i picked this up because this is probably the closest match that i could find and then the last thing that i picked up is the matte foundation natural medium coverage matte finish oil free and this one was only three pounds and i got it in shade sand 09 now again i find it so hard to find my shade in primark because there's all different colours and different numbers 
but you can't test them out because I don't have any testers so it's really a trial and error thing. I did try out a matte foundation from them a few years ago which I absolutely love. Like it's amazing, it's a double wear dupe. It looks so good and it lasts a very long time, it's like five pounds. So that one is my favourite Primark one. So I thought I'd pick this one up because it is a matte foundation. I do like matte foundations because I am very oily but I don't like it to be flat matte so... We'll see how this goes and hopefully the colour's going to match me. And the last items that I've picked up are clothing items and I will be doing a try and haul for you. So I thought I'd try them on so you can see how they fit as well and if the sizing is good as well. Now, I haven't tried on everything that I have in this bag because... Again, I completely forgot that I actually bought them a very long time ago. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through them. I'll let you know what I think of them. And then, obviously, you can see on the try and section if it does fit me or if it doesn't. So, the first things that I'm going to show you are these vest tops. And I actually have one of them on at the moment. And I'm obsessed with these. These are absolutely amazing. Now, these are actually from the sports section. So, you get the crop top and then you also get the cycling short. But these... For Primark feel such amazing quality. I've been obsessed with these. You would have seen on my channel that I'd been wearing this top. There's also a pink top that I wear as well that is exactly the same as this one. And I get these in a size extra small and they're meant to be sports tops. But they feel so thick. They're properly lined and they feel like amazing quality. If I got one of these tops and it was from a different section, I feel like that the quality wouldn't be that good. So this one, I'm not too sure if it's gonna suit me because of it's very close to my hair color, but I picked up this one because I thought that the color was so beautiful. This one is the first shade that I got, so it's a beautiful orange shade. It's sort of like a neon muted orange, if that makes any sense, but I thought the color was beautiful, but I will let you know if it actually suits me, but hopefully it will I mean it's not too close to my hair color but I have to be very careful when I'm wearing yellows or oranges and then the other one that I got is this one and this is like a tie-dye one it's so pretty it goes down in a gradient so it's like a very very pale blue white at the top and then it goes down to like a turquoise shade and I thought this was absolutely stunning and again they just feel so nice and soft and thick but extra small is the size that I get because it fits me perfectly I like that it's tight on me but it's not too tight to the point where it hurts every single time that i go into the store and i see that they have a new shade i have to go and pick it up because i have like five now and i'm obsessed with them and i'm constantly wearing them during the summer this has been my go-to because i just put this on and i put on some high-waisted shorts or some high-waisted jeans and that's my go-to look because i'm so lazy and it's just so easy to do i also picked up two bodysuits as well and bodysuits and primark are very hit and miss for me I've had one bodysuit that was really, really good that I loved, so I picked up another one and that didn't work out very well. So I picked both of these up in extra small because with their sizes, they're so weird with bodysuits. I've picked up extra smalls before and it's been too small. I picked up small before and it's been massive. Like, I had these bodysuits, I think it was last year or the year before that I picked up from Primark and I got a size small. The gusset is so low down. It's like, it's like they just imagined that someone has a very 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 long torso now i'm five nine five ten so i'm a very tall person but even for me that was very large and i had to like tuck it into my jeans and you know you if you're in a bodysuit you don't really want to have to tuck them into your jeans you, you want it to be smooth so i will let you know right down here if they fit me or if they're see-through. So I picked up this one, which is a black one, first of all. This one was six pounds. The material feels so nice and soft, like really, really soft. But I can see it is looking a little bit see-through on here, but hopefully if I'm wearing it with a black bra or a gray bra, hopefully it won't go see-through. And then I picked up this one, which is a slightly different body. And this one, I'm worried that it's gonna be see-through. And it's this white one. Now, I have been pleasantly surprised from Primark with these crop tops, so I don't know, but hopefully it fits me and hopefully it doesn't go fully see-through. This one was only £3.50 as well because it's slightly different and it's different material to this one. This feels very silky. It feels... It feels sort of like a swimsuit. That's how this material feels. So it feels very stretchy. And then this one is literally just like cotton. I also picked up a nightdress in the sale as well. And this is such a beautiful nightdress. So this is like a maxi, like midi maxi nightdress. And it's just so pretty. It's like this 
sort of peachy pinky shade and it doesn't to be honest it doesn't really look like a night dress to me and i got this reduced from 12 pounds to six pounds so i got a half price and it feels so nice and it feels like amazing quality as well it feels like airy material perfect for summer and when it's hotter then you have these slit at the top as well i also picked up some workout socks as well and what primark haul would it be without socks and these are the only pair that i got just because i needed some workout ones they have the arch support and yeah they're cheap they're cheap and 55 pairs so super super affordable i've also just seen that I picked up another one of these in black the same top see this is how obsessed I am I have I already have three now of this black top because I forgot that I picked up a black top so I picked up another one <sighs> the next things that I have I have some jogging bottoms as well these are super cheap these are six pounds but I'm in a size extra small and I do already own a pair of jogging bottoms and to be honest it's nothing really crazy about these i mean they fit me they're just a little bit short in the ankles but it's to be expected because i'm very tall anyway but they come up nicely they wash nicely as well i've had my other pair for probably about a year now and yeah they, they work very well and the sizing is correct and like i said six pounds so super affordable as well and the last things that i got are just some night shorts because i needed a new pair of them and i don't have any that are black and i just picked up these ones and i thought they were really cute and these ones were three pounds so again super affordable size extra small and there's not really anything else to them they just feel like really nice material and they're very stretchy as well and i really like the detail on the legs as well so that's everything that i picked up from primark i hope that you enjoy this video and if there's anything that you picked up from primark that you really like or that you don't just comment down below to let me know and also i will be doing my full face first impression of primark makeup as well so make sure that you stay tuned i'll link it down below for you when i do manage to do and upload it so you can check it out and make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video guys bye <laughs>